So car goes zero to 60 miles per hour in a time of five seconds. And let's ask the following question. What is the acceleration? What is that acceleration equal to okay, based on these numbers? Well, how would we figure this out? Yes, it's going to be one of the kinematic equations. And let's take a look at this one. Vf equals Vi plus At. All right, that's one of the kinematic equations. Is that going to help us figure this out? Maybe. We know this number right here, right? V fun, that's 60 miles per hour. We know this number right here. That is zero. And we know time, five seconds. What we don't know is acceleration, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So we can take that equation, and we can solve for acceleration. We have Vf equals Vi plus At, and now we can solve this for acceleration. We'll move Vi over to the other side, and we divide by T. Acceleration is Vf minus Vi over T. Now, we know Vi is going to be zero. That's going to drop out of our equation. Vf is 60 miles per hour, and T is 5 seconds. So first off, we have to get everything into SI units. So 60 miles per hour. When I convert that to SI units, all I have to do is multiply by 1. So let's get rid of the miles, and then we'll get rid of the hours. So what do we know about miles and kilometers? What we might remember is there is 1.6 kilometers in a mile. And we, of course, remember that there are 10 to the 3 meters in a kilometer. All right, so we get rid of miles, we get rid of kilometers, we end up with meters. What you might also remember is that in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. All right, 60 times 60 is 3,600, and so now the hours will drop out. So let's run these numbers and see what we got. 60 times 1.6 times 10 to the 3 divided by 3,600. And that's going to be meters per second. And if you guys have a calculator, plug that into your calculator. And... Okay, so we approximated that as 30 meters per second. The exact answer was 26.67 meters per second, which that sounds right because we're getting 60 miles per hour and we said it's roughly a factor of two. Okay, so VF is that. Let's plug it into our equation and see what we get for A. Okay, we said A was Vf minus Vi divided by T, and we have 26.67, 26.67 minus 0, divided by T, which we said was 5 seconds. So what is that? 26.67 over 5 is approximately 5 if you run it in your calculator. What do you get for the actual answer? Five point one? 5.3. Meters per second squared. Okay, that is the acceleration of your car. 5.3 meters per second squared, which is about a half G. Okay, so when somebody says how fast you, does your car accelerate, you can say a half a G. Right? G is 9.8, 5 is about half of that, so you get about a half G. Now, let's ask a follow-up question. Let's say that we're looking at a car that can accelerate 
a little bit faster than the average car. So we just talked about a motor car accelerating at about one half g, but let's say you have instead a dragster. Okay, a dragster is all about acceleration. The dragster acceleration is on the order of four g. Okay, it is really phenomenally quick. So four g is what? It's four times 9.8 meters per second squared. So it's on the order of 40 meters per second squared. Okay, it's roughly eight times faster than a normal production car. So let's ask the following question. How long will it take to travel a thousand feet if we start from rest? And then as a follow-up, we're going to ask what the final speed is. So, where are we? We'll go to our kinematic equations. One of them, we said, was this. Vx final equals Vx initial plus A sub x times t. Is that going to help us get to the time? No, not yet, because we don't know that. This, we know, it starts from x, that's zero. This, we know, it's 4G, but that guy we don't know either. So we only have one equation, and we have two unknowns, and that's not going to help us do it. So instead, let's go to this equation. X final equals X initial plus VX initial times T plus 1 half A sub X T squared. And let's look at this equation and figure out what we know and what we don't know. We know this, it's thousand feet. We know this, that's zero. We know this, that's zero. We know this, acceleration, we don't know time. So we have one unknown in this equation, and so we can solve it for time. So let's just rewrite this, and let's put in some of the zeros. Start at zero, start at rest, accelerate at 4g, and now we can just solve this thing for t. And we can double check my math, but I would say that we get the following. 2xf over 4g square root is equal to t. So, we have all those numbers. Now, what we do need to change is xf was in feet, and so we need to convert that to si units. So, a thousand feet, if I convert that to si units, I just multiply by one each time. I've got 12 inches in a foot. We have 2.54 centimeters per inch. And we have one meter equals 100 centimeters. And now you can plug those in your calculator and double check with me, but I got good 304.8 meters. Okay, 304.8 meters. So let's plug in and calculate when we get the T. There's our x of f. Let's plug it into this equation and see what we get for t. t equals the square root of 2 times x of f, 304.8 meters. And we're dividing by 4 times g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. The meters are going to cancel out. Second squared ends up on top. Take the square root, we get seconds. And if you plug those in your calculator, double check me, you should get 3.94 seconds. And this is how long it takes a dragster to start from rest and move a thousand feet. And it turns out a thousand feet is the real number that they use at the drag strip. It used to be longer than that, it used to be a quarter mile, but the cars end up moving too fast and the tires would disintegrate. And they didn't like that very much, so they shortened the track a little bit, so the car didn't end up going fast. 
as fast. Okay? Let's see how fast that is. What is the final speed of that dragster? Well, now we can go back to our other equation, right? Our other equation was v final equals v initial plus a times t. And now we know all those numbers. v initial is 0. a, we said, is 4 times g, 9.8 meters per second squared. t is now 3.94 seconds. And if you plug in those numbers, you should get 154 meters per second. And if we remember our rule for going from meters per second to miles per hour, it's roughly double. So double this number, and we end up with a final speed of around 300 miles per hour. And so now when you think about stuff like dragsters, let's keep in mind what we're talking about. Your car was 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. A dragster in 4 seconds goes 0 to 300 miles per hour. And these are real numbers. This is really what happens at the drag stroke. It's sort of phenomenal. Okay, hopefully that's clear. Uh, if not, come see me during office hours. Cheers.